Here we have an A1502 retina that doesn't turn off. Let's try and find out why it doesn't turn off. Now, let's take a look at this Mac. When we take a look at this MacBook, you're going to notice a couple of things. First thing you're going to notice is that this corrosion by the trackpad connector. Second thing you're going to notice, corrosion by the SMC and the SMC reset chip. So we're going to do a couple of measurements here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in the charger and I'm going to see what our PP bus measures. Now remember, PP bus G3 hot is a power rail created by the ISL 6259. The ISL 6259 communicates with the SMC in order to set the exact voltage. If we have a PP bus G3 hot of 8.1 volts, it means that SMC communication is not occurring. If we have a uh, PP bus G3 hot of 8.5 volts, it means that SMC communication is occurring. The reason it's important to get an idea of whether SMC communication is occurring is because SMC communication is the thing that's going to tell us whether or not the SMC is running and whether or not the SMC has the capability to speak to the charger because getting a green light is a function of the SMC communicating with the charger. So we are going to check and see what it is our PP bus is on this board and see if we get uh, the low voltage or the high. By the way, I meant 12.2 versus 12.5. 8.1 versus 8.5 is for an hour. So we're getting 12.2 volts on our PP bus, which means that our SMC is not turning on. Now, the SMC could not be turning on or it could be bad. And when you look at how much corrosion is by the SMC, so the SMC itself could be not turning on or be bad as a result of corrosion, or the reset circuit, which is supposed to turn the SMC on, could not be working. Now let's take a look at a schematic for an 820-4924 board and show you what I mean by the SMC reset circuit. So this chip over here, which seems to be corroded, U5110, by the way, available on store.rossmangroup.com, is a chip that is going to turn on the SMC. There is a signal called SMC reset L. This signal is going to tell the SMC that you should turn off when you're low, underscore L, low, reset the SMC, and turn on when you're high, because then the, SM the signal will not be present. It's only present when it's low. The purpose of that signal is to ensure that the SMC does not try to turn on until PP3V42 is stable. So this chip over here gets PP3V42 as a voltage going into the chip, and it tells when that is present. Once PP3V42 has stabilized... Actually, wait, does it? No, it gets PP3V3S5. Hmm. All right, so PP3V3S5, I believe, goes into this. No, PP3V42 goes in on pin 1. All right, never mind. So I'm losing my mind. So once PP3V42, once this voltage here has stabilized, then the chip will allow SMC reset L to be released, which will allow the SMC to turn on. So the whole point is to not turn the SMC on until we, are, uh, we have a level and stable PP3V42. PP3V42 is the power rail that the SMC runs on, and if PP3V42 is not stable, Prior to the SMC turning on, the SMC will crash. With that, we're going to see if our PP3V42 SMC reset, all that good stuff is present on this motherboard. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check for SMC reset L at the point that we would expect it to be. And I'm going to use Paul Daniels' software to have it show up on the screen. Paul Daniels' lovely software. Beautiful software garbage software that you could find at pldaniels.com. Don't delay. Check out Paul Daniels' software today. And it's not present. But also, this, the, all the pads for this resistor are destroyed. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yep. Have a good night. Pet the bus. 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 Pet the, pet the, pet the bus. Now the SMC reset chip has been removed from the board. Hmm. Now, I need to find myself an SN903049. That's SN903049. Where could I find myself an SN903049 if I needed to purchase one? Hmm. Look no further. 
and store.rossmangroup.com. You can find an SMC reset chip for the low, low price of $649. Free shipping on orders over $30 within the continental United States. Same day shipping and full knowledge of the products that we sell. The description will tell you an idea of when you need that chip. The additional information will tell you what boards that's compatible with. We have a live chat, we have email, we have phone support here at store.rossmangroup.com. Unless you're pleased, bro. Don't delay. Buy today. So, I'm just going to head over to store.rossmangroup.com and buy a chip. Hmm. SMC reset chip. Hmm. Much tasty. We're going to put that chip on the board. It's just too good to be true that you can go to a site like store.rossmangroup.com for all your MacBook chip and tool needs. I know. The excitement is overwhelming you. You want to go to store.rossmangroup.com right now. You don't even want to finish this video. You want to buy a quick, a crest, or some chips, and more. Well, I know that urge, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you from an unbiased perspective, I definitely understand and believe that you should go ahead and fulfill that urge to buy from store.rossmangroup.com or to watch our board repair videos on boards.rossmangroup.com. It appears we still don't have a green light. It appears our PP bus is still low in voltage. It appears our SMC reset signal is actually high now. It was low before, but it's high now. So the next thing that's going to be wrong with this board is that the SMC most likely is not going to be allowing us to get a green light from the charger because it has corrosion under it. Let's clean that up.
What's the difference between Amscopes and other lower end ones? Like, as in you won't feel sick if you use them? Uh, Amscope is the low end, honestly. At least from what I've seen. Like, the high end are the Leicas, are the Vision Engineering, so... Well, Amscope is pretty cheap for what you get. I mean, I, for me, Amscope it just always appeared to be the low end scope. Like, I actually have a review that I need to edit and publish for the Leica $1,600 one that I really don't understand why somebody would pay for that over an Amsco. Yeah. And look at that, we get a light on the charger. Do you have a MacBook that needs to be fixed? Come by our store, which is open to the public at 186 First Avenue in Manhattan. Are you located outside of New York? No problem. Send us a machine from anywhere in the world by going to our website and clicking on the mailbox or simply heading over to sendyourmacbook.com. That's sendyourmacbook.com where you'll be redirected to our mail-in instructions page that includes the form and the directions on how to send us a MacBook for repair. We have a live chat where you can speak with us about the repair that you need, a phone number where a representative will pick up during our open hours, and a contact form where you can contact us about repairs. 